Greetings fellow conspirators, Mortarsdale here, and welcome back to The Escapists. Today is day number 6 of our stay here in Fort Bamford, where we've been getting tons and tons of these orange plastic utility keys, and those have allowed us to get into these utility closet rooms, uh, which don't really seem to have much point to them, but they, they don't have a lot of utility, eh? eh? <laughs> Um, but we've been getting lots of prisoner stashes, lots of contraband from that, so all is well and good on that front. Some bad news though, is that I have discovered we're not going to be able to dig out. That's been my plan for a while, is be able to get out of our cell at night time, go into one of these rooms here, like have a poster in the wall, be able to get into there whenever we want to, and dig out. Problem is that we are surrounded by reinforced concrete, so there is no digging. No digging in this prison, which is unfortunate because that really limits our options for escape. So basically, um, I should have taken them in the other order. We should have, we usually have three different ways that you can try to escape. You can either A, try, let's go top to bottom, right? So altitude, you go through the vent system, go to the top of the roof, jump off the roof, and escape that way. Then you do have the ground level, you can try to break out through the walls or use keys or whatever and just walk out the ground floor. And finally you have the digging out option, um, which is just dig a tunnel until you're past all the perimeters and then you're free. I think I've used all of those options in the past at some point or another. Wow, did you hear that? That was weird. Um, I think I've used all those options in the past at some point or another, but we've, we're sort of confined to only one of them for this prison. So, sort of different, but I, I think we'll be able to make it work. Anyways, after breakfast we have the janitor job, and I was thinking about trying to snag the another, another job in this prison, uh, because specifically I'm thinking about the infinite timber one, because it is very ideally situated for my new my newfound uh, idea for a plan. It's not a, a fully fledged plan yet, and I'm sure that somebody's going to comment and be like, "Hey, you've." totally overlooked this aspect of the map and I'll be like oh yeah that's uh, a <laughs> whoops but um you know we'll, we'll try it for now um, I want that job specifically because first you know infinite timber right you can never say no to that uh, you can get timber braces tool handles all that kind of stuff so it's it's nice um, and the other thing that you can get is um, that since, since it's so conveniently located it's gonna allow us to get into some areas of the prison hopefully so the idea is we've got two contraband detectors here, and um, if we get into this room, put a poster in this wall, we can dig over here, and then this room will allow us to cross over here, maybe dig out this wall, and we won't have to go through these contraband detectors. So that's my plan. Um, I don't know if that's if that like, sounds good at all. Um, it, it sounds good to me, but it remains to be seen whether that's actually going to work when I try it. Hello, Warden Sparrow. I see that you're not trying to uh, stop me. You're too scared, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sure. All right, Ronald. Nope, can't take on any favors. I think somebody wants a watch, so I need to be on the lookout for that. And I'm, I'm honestly at this point, I'm just taking the contraband, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you my plan here in a second. We'll have plenty of time to do it, provided that we don't get the shakedown at uh, afternoon roll call. Okay. I would really also like to get a molten chocolate so we can knock out some of these guards and get our jobs done. Yeah, so Officer Anthony specifically is the one who's asking for it. But unfortunately, no cups. No cups indeed, Shane. So here's the plan. Let's grab... What do we need? We need the poster so we can put this stuff away. We need our pickaxe. We need the key. And actually, let me grab... A little bit of extra contraband. Let's grab th these two. And what's something else I'm not going to need? I guess I don't really need two foils, so I'll grab one of those with me. Alright, so we're going to go through this door. And we're going to dig through the wall. And then we're going to put the poster in. As soon as it's done, I think Tobias might try to yell at us. Um. But if he does, it'll be okay. Now, I want to be careful because I think the guards can actually see me through the wall. Or through this door. So I just want to be careful when I actually break through this. Alright, there we go. That looks good. Poster's in place. I'm, uh, Dude, I am right here. Yell at other people. Don't yell at me. 
Okay, so let's see who's getting the shakedown. Oh, I forgot. Oh, well. Um, Shane and Hank. Okay, cool. Not me. Let's see. Is anybody selling anything? No, they're not. Alright, let's see. Shane, or Jaden, whoever, have a wall block. So now we have a poster in there. And at next, um, next work period, I'm going to try to beat up... Who has, the, who has this job again? I should go check that out first. Um, go try to beat up that person and steal their job. So, it is Tobias. Okay. So we're going to have to beat up Tobias, make sure he can't complete his quota, then we can apply for this job tomorrow, and that'll allow us to get into here. Then, we can dig over, and actually, let's see. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, or if we did here, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's actually the closer way to dig one one two three four five yeah doesn't really matter so I think that's what we're gonna do and actually since we have so many extra keys um, let's just go do that right now let's just bring one of those with us and do we need the pickaxe probably not let's just grab that and we'll go so here we go we're gonna start digging in this way and trying to get over here into this area and remember we won't need a key to get into this area ever again because we'll be able to get in using the poster whenever we get the infinite timber job and nobody's gonna be able to see me through that door because it's too far away so that's great lightweight shovels lasting a pretty decently a long time can I not there we go all right so we need to go one two three upwards so let's just start digging Excellent. And after free period, um, gosh, what do we go to after that? Evening meal time. Oh, I really want to get this done. Okay, I might just have to take a little bit of heat. All right, we're good. Let's go. Uh, we're going to get out of here so that the key break. That's okay. Sometimes keys just break. I need to remember to start storing stuff in there instead of bringing it out here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll make it. Okay, so I'll, I want to bring, I think, my pickaxe and my shovel in there. Oh, somebody just got beat up. Maybe it's Tobias. We'll have to go see. Yeah, I know. It is not. It is Shane. He has a poster, or uh, he has a magazine. I like magazines. I would love to have it, but I think if I took it, then old Officer Buster here would get kind of, kind of upset. He would take offense. So we'll, we'll just let it go. Exercise. Let's go work on the muscles. The old muscles to get our strength up so we can get our health up as is our usual pattern maybe I will try to do speed um, I I don't know I always think that health is better because like whenever the guards get mad at me and they start trying to beat me up then I'll be able to take more hits and so speed is a purely offensive thing and that allows you to attack faster but strength is both offensive and defensive. It allows you to hit harder and also allows you to take more hits. So I, I do still think that speed is probably the best option um, when you're trying to, when we're talking about physicality anyways. How's my intellect? 84, that should be fine. For now anyways. All right, shower block, let's hose off. Oh, that's right, we don't have another job today. We have to do that tomorrow, I forgot. I thought we had two um, job periods, but we only have one, and we have two free periods. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to beat up Tobias. That's okay. That will work out just fine, I think. And hopefully we can also get ourselves a red key, and do we need that? Nah. And hopefully we'll be able to <laughs> put this plan into action. So we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. All right free period so again idea is to dig up through here dig into here and then we can run across here um, and then break through here have a poster there and be able to get out here I'm not sure if this is a if this door locks at night if it does I'll have to like I might even just have to put a poster over here to get out but still that will allow us to get on the access to this side of the prison and here is where we have a red key to get out that door and I think we could technically put two posters in here to get out through there and we also have a different exit over here so those are the two two different options that we have 
Hello, Gavin. What are you, what are you selling? Ooh, he's got duct tape. I kind of want some duct tape. I would not be opposed to having some of that. I'll buy it. If I don't buy it, guys, you know that later on I'll be hurting for duct tape, so... That's why we're doing that. Okay, let's see here. We've got a lot of contraband. We need to give away some of this dirt. So let's do that right now. Jaden, have some dirt. Yes, I know, it is quite lovely. Good quality. So uh, go plant yourself some, some potted plants. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11. That's a lot of contraband. That's too much contraband. In fact. So, tell you what, let's just grab that. And what else do we want? I guess we'll grab that and that. And this, that. Is that everything that we need? Yes, I think so. Let's go do some more digging. Since we have the time, why not? And since we have the key. Alright, so we go down and we just continue digging on how much... Okay, that is slightly less than half usage. And it goes down by 5% each time. Okay, so it's got... Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, dang it, I didn't want to do that. Um, hmm. Alright, let's drop that. Drop that. And do we want to try to bust through... Yeah, we might as well. Otherwise, it would just take a little while to get our pick inside here. And by then, we'd be using up so much of the durability on our on our key that it wouldn't be worth it, personally. So, now we've got a sturdy shovel that's still only a 2 out of 5 chipper. Um, so you can see, it's obviously it's not the best at doing this. But, it, I think it'll handle the job. I do feel bad though, because we're using a whole lot of durability on our sturdy shovel to get through a rock, which is, yeah, it's just a bad use. This is very inefficient. Guys, I do not recommend this. This is not my recommendation for going about digging. When you want to dig dirt, use your shovel. <laughs> when you want to dig other stuff, okay, use a pick. So, not me. Gavin, what are you selling? Wood. Oh, once I have the infinite timber job, I'm not going to need it. But tell you what, I had this one time offer for the dirt. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, that's about it for today. Um, yeah, no more interesting stuff at roll call. So, theoretically, here, uh, once we've got. Ooh, actually, hang on. Let me think. No, that'll be fine. Okay, anything in here? Nope. So now we can grab one, two, three, four, five. So we do have six still, but that's okay. Yeah, that is, that's perfectly fine. All right, cool beans. So we are in for the night. Can I trade with Gavin if I wanted to? Yes, I could. That is a good thing to know. So now I'm not gonna do this now, but theoretically if I wanted to at night, I could go through these posters to get out, um, go, I could either use the orange utility key to get through into the closet, or I could, once I have the job, I can just go through there and start digging. And so now, um, as soon as we, tomorrow, when we beat up Tobias, we'll be able to do a lot more during the nighttime, I think. So I'm, I'm I think that's a, a pretty decent trade-off. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode of day number six in Fort Bamford. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and are enjoying the series. If you did like the video, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.